Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode right here on V-City. I'm glad you're here. And today, I just want to talk about something. And it's, it's something I've noticed. It's something that, that happens a lot. If you move to Canada, or you move to the United States to study, especially if you come alone, and especially if you're kind of young, if you see yourself adding weight, if you see yourself becoming a little bit chubbier, not that that's a bad thing, but there's usually a reason in behind it. The first thing is that you're alone. You're alone and so you're stressed. You're stressed and so you eat. Uh, that's the first thing. So I've come, you know, I've come to see how people, they tend to add some weight because they're getting so stressed. And it's not a bad thing, it's just that that's the situation. But it doesn't end there. Now you're by yourself, you're, uh, <laughs> you're in your own house or your own apartment, maybe your own room, you have roommates. And most likely, if you're kind of young, there's a high chance that you as a person the, you don't know how to cook that well. You just don't know how to cook for yourself as much as, you know, your mom would. You're used to your mother or your dad or whoever cooking for you back in your home country. And now you're here, 19 years old. Now you have to cook for yourself for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and supper, and midnight snacks. You gotta go grocery shopping. You have to think of all these things. And, and you, don't have all that, you don't have all that money on you. And you're going to school. So you're becoming an adult, becoming independent, and you're stressing. So because of how much effort it takes to cook for yourself every time, to get yourself ready for school, to do all these different things, you just go for the cheaper things, like Domino's, like McDonald's. It's easier, it's cheaper, and it's junk food. And it fills you up quickly. So all of a sudden, you're eating junk food more often because it's so cheap, it's easy to access. You can literally order McDonald's and it'll be at your door in 15 minutes. So now you're stress eating, <laughs> you're eating junk food, and you're adding weights. And it's just this downward spiral. But the thing about it here is that everyone goes through it somehow. Not everybody, but most people go through it. I'll put it that way. Most people go through it where they're eating and eating and eating, not their own food, but food from Domino's or Little Caesars or you know McDonald's, and, and, and it's not healthy. <laughs> It's not healthy, but they're stressed and they have to eat because they got to go to school and they can't prep from, you know, from Monday till Friday and they have to go grocery shopping and there's no car. So you have to calculate all these different things, get a bus, go to Walmart, buy. This is throwback. This is like flashbacks for me right now when I used to have to do all that kind of stuff. So basically what I'm saying is that food has become comfort for so many people, especially students, especially international students who are stressed out. Food just becomes, junk food especially, becomes a place of comfort. Sometimes myself and Daniel, we have a bad day and we're just like, you know what, we're gonna buy pizza. Just, or ice cream. You know, you're just so upset, you wanna treat yourself. And you're so stressed out, there's no food at home, so you gotta buy something outside. And the cheapest thing is fast food. So, stress eating, food for comfort, it happens to a lot of people. So if it's happening to you, or you see it happen to you, don't be stressed out, don't get worried about adding weight, it's not a big deal. You will get over it and everything will go back to normal eventually, eventually. But if you do know how to cook, well then, please be a blessing to someone else by asking, hey, would you like some food sometime? If you wanna get international students because their parents aren't around, a lot of them are not very good at cooking, but those, you know, if you wanna get international students attention for any program, just say there's free food. Free food, not free snacks. Free food will get you all the international students you're looking for. It's normal. We all need food to survive. Anyway, that's just my two cents on the situation of having food for comforts and getting stressed out because of school and, you know, living in Canada or living in the United States or pretty much just studying abroad. So thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Have yourself a wonderful day.